Since you want to go there, let's go there. What about Steph Curry? You are, the, you are the leader. But somehow, some way, we never asked that question about the babyface assassin who's the greatest shooter on the planet Earth. After Stephen A. Smith questioned the leadership of Steph Curry, Steve Kerr had a strong response. How are you, um, with all of the ups and downs of this team right now, how are you and Steph supporting each other and how are you making sure that he knows that this team is kind of all still moving in that same linear upward direction? Um, we talk every single day, you know, um, that's what the, the season is about. That's what, um, being a team is about. It's, um, collaborating and, um, sharing thoughts, sharing ideas, um, trying to keep everybody confident and moving forward and motivated. And, you know, Steph is, um, as good of a leader as I've ever been around. I mean, the guy is an amazing human being and what he's done the past decade, um, in leading this team through all of the ups and the downs and uh, the turmoil um, for anybody to question Steph Curry's leadership. Um, it's, it's actually um, it's kind of sickening to me, you know, and I saw some of that yesterday. It was disgusting. We're talking about one of the finest human beings that I have ever been around. And, uh, but that's the climate that we live in. And, and these guys, um, it's part of, Part of all of this is just um, the climate we live in and, and the, the arrows that are, you know, slung at these guys and the, um, the judgment, the criticism. Um, that's fine, um, but it's part of it and it's not easy. We're all human beings. And um, so that's, that's a big part of the job these days as a professional athlete. You have to deal with, with everything and you have to accept it. Um, but there are times when you kind of have to say, Really? Like, that's the angle you're going to take? You're going to question Steph Curry's leadership? Like, really? We're going to do that? Think about that. Think about that. Okay, so that's all I got. We all know Draymond needs to be responsible for his actions, and the only one who can stop him from doing this is Draymond. But I thought Stephen A made a valid point. It's less about Steph Curry and more about the entire Warriors organization. They've been enabling Draymond by defending him and making excuses even when he's in the wrong. When Draymond smacked Nurkic in the face, Steve Kerr said he didn't see it even though it was on replay a bunch of times. He said the same thing when Draymond stomped on Sabonis. And when Draymond put Rudy Gobert in a headlock, Steve Kerr blamed Rudy Gobert for grabbing Klay Thompson and Jaden McDaniels for starting the whole thing. Even though he didn't, it was Klay Thompson. Steve Kerr has never held Draymond accountable. So we shouldn't be surprised when Draymond goes to the media and says he doesn't regret anything. Draymond has become entitled, but who could blame him when everyone on the Warriors is always on his side no matter what? Even now, the Warriors said this is about helping Draymond, not punishing him. And that's why some are starting to question the leadership of Steph Curry. As the best player and leader of the team, he should have pulled Draymond aside by now and told him he's out of control. He's costing them games. He's already costed them a championship. But instead, the Warriors have done nothing, just like they did when he punched Jordan Poole. I don't think this suspension is enough. I think Draymond will do something like this again. But that's just what I think. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Steve Kerr calling out Stephen A. Smith for questioning the leadership of Steph Curry. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.